A moment ago, we played a series of tones. Close your eyes and take another listen. Are you still hearing the notes continuously rising? How is that possible? Keep watching. We'll back up a little and show you where the sequence repeats. In case you still can't hear the sequence of 12 notes repeating, we'll speed it up. We bet you're hearing it loop now. So what's going on here? This is called the shepherd tone. Stanford psychologist Roger Shepard discovered this phenomenon in 1964. Each tone you're hearing is comprised of multiple notes of the same key being played simultaneously at different volumes. This illusion overwhelms your perceptual system, so your brain chooses the simplest interpretation based on your past experience with music. Logically, it assumes the notes will keep rising, even if they don't. And the fact that your brain makes incorrect assumptions like these what? is exactly what illusionists like Eric LeClaire count on, as you're about to see in this next game. Here's a quick logic test for you. How would I get this pair inside this bottle without breaking or manipulating the bottle or the pair in any way so that it would look like this? Any ideas? What do you think? This is a tricky one. I know they can't fit it in. Is that a real pair? It's a real pair inside a real bottle. Does it involve heat? It does not involve heat. Was it put in there? I don't, uh... Yeah, it was. You flattened it <laughs> and stuck it in there. Did you rehydrate the pair? I don't know what that means. Okay. Did you put another bottle? No, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Was it sheer brute strength? Kill these guns. Any idea yet? The only muscle you need to flex is your brain. Ready to find out if your guess is correct? So do you think the pair's always been this size? No. Wait a minute. See, pears, they, they, they grow bigger. Did it grow inside that bottle? Boom! You got it, Kanisha. That's it. So the pear has actually grown inside the bottle. Did you think of that? It's the only logical answer. Are you being serious? I'm, I'm, wait, wait, <laughs> you think hydrating the pear is a better answer? <laughs> the step-by-step -step process of problem solving is monitored by a part of the brain called the anterior cingulate cortex, or the ACC. You can think of the ACC as the control center of logic. It coordinates all the information stored in your memory to think of creative solutions to puzzles just like this one. Even if you figured out the logical solution to the pair in the bottle, these next two might be a little tougher. 